times when your number's called, you go in, you play at a high level, and uh, you know, we got a couple guys that need to understand that at some point their number's going to be called and better be prepared to go in and play. And I had a couple guys today that weren't, and that's not a good thing, so we'll get that corrected and move on. How anxious are you to, to, to build this week leading to Saturday to finally get them out there and scrimmage a little bit? Well, I mean, you know, we're doing a little bit of scrimmaging every day, and Saturday won't be a whole lot different other than it'll be mostly all situational scrimmages. So, you know, we get some of those situations every day. You, today we had the blitz, you know, you know, we had the move session, and we had some things, and we'll just expand on that a little bit on Saturday. I say you feel like defense, I mean, obviously with, with them blitzing more, obviously have, have a little bit of an edge. Well, it should today. be. I mean, I think any time, you know, it's, it's a double-edged sword. You know, you get upset with the offense a little bit, but the defense at this point in spring ball, if your defense isn't ahead of your offense, I mean, you've got major issues, uh, you know, when you tee it up in the fall. Ours was today at this point, which is a good thing for them, but the offense has to get better. Go in the middle, you've rotated Jermaine Holmes in, and, and I know you're giving him the best possible look. I mean, what do you, what have you seen from him so far, and what where does he need to get better? Well, I see a young guy that's starting to understand uh, the total package of the defense. I see a guy that's not thinking near as much, and he's playing harder because of it. And uh, he's a talented young guy that's dropped ten. I think he's two thirty five, two thirty six now, and he can he runs a lot better than he did at two forty five and two fifty. So, you know, I'm seeing more athleticism with that second level at linebacker, not just with him, but Armand's and. And uh, you know Dion and Billy and, and Devin and all those guys, uh, they run around pretty good over there. What about your DBs, I know adjusting to a, to another coach, a little bit different style, maybe press a little more. Uh, how do you think they've? I mean, a lot of guys back, a lot of experience back in that room. Yeah, you know we got some blue jerseys out there that makes it a little tougher because they're non-time contact guys. But the fortunate thing this spring is they've been able to get some good technique and some good work and. You know, we're working a little bit more on some press coverage and doing some things that we think may be able to help us. So I see some positive things out there with him. I think Dale Roberts, who doesn't have a blue jersey on, has played extremely well. Pack's played well with a blue jersey. And uh, those other young guys, I saw Baxter make a couple of plays today. So they show some athleticism out there. They just got to continue to get better. With this being week three, Coach, are you happy with uh, your progress on the defensive side and offensive side? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think, yeah, we, we've changed that. We're doing a little more tempo stuff with the offense, which is a little bit different for them. And, Got a couple of different schemes in there for them. But I think for the most part, it is week three, but still only what? Practice number nine, I think it was. Is that, uh, is that our number there? About seven. It was the seven. seven. Yeah, we're, we're two ahead of us. So, you know, we spread it out over a five week period. So we're still not even halfway, you know, through spring ball, which is a good thing. You know, we got another two this week and we got two weeks left. So, you know, the thing what we'll do is every time we come out here, we'll do as much as we can possibly get out of that practice and you know, walk off here with the team. I like the five-week schedule better than what I guess you do since you put it in. But no, I like it because I think number one, it gives you a lot more meeting time. I think when you have a young football team that's not physically strong enough you know, to where we want it as far as strength goes, that it also gives you the opportunity to get three days a week lifting in you know, during that practice and gives you more meeting times. I, I, just, I like our schedule. I like what, what we're doing, and, uh, and I think it's, it's going to help us.